In the last couple of weeks there has been a lot of buzz about a new AMP profiling plugin based on AI and neural networks, which has one big advantage, it's free. In this video we check out how does it sound compared to the other well-established and paid profilers, which are the Quad Cortex, the Tonix and the Camper. I will try to share with you which one sounds better with some pretty scientific tests. Let's start. First of all, the Neural Amp Modeler is a free software composed by two modules, a VST plugin with which you can load profiles and IRs with some pretty simple knobs and controls and a software which allows you to create profiles training a neural network. In this video I wouldn't go into much details about how to train a profile or how the plugin works, but I would just focus this video about the result obtained. I will use a profile I have created for the NAM plugin, the Tonix, the Quad Cortex and the Camper. The reference amp for all the profiles is a Friedman Pink Taco version 2 connected to a greenback speaker and mic'd with an SM57. Now, how can we compare the obtained profiles versus the real amp in the more scientific way possible? Well, you know that every sound is represented by a waveform, I mean a sinusoid. Well, if you play at the same time both the original waveform and its phase inverted counterpart, you obtain silence. Let's try. This is the waveform of a Friedman amp that sounds like this. Let's copy it, phase inverted, and now let's play together both the tracks. Well, silence. In fact, in this case, each waveform is the exact opposite of the other one therefore obtaining a null sound, I mean silence, when we play them together. Now, this is the same Friedman amp profiled with the NAM software. Applying the same principle, if I play both the tracks together with one of them phase inverted, the lower the resulting volume is, the better is the fidelity of the profile versus the real amp. Let's hear the NAM alone. And now let's hear the real Friedman and the NAM together with the real amp phase inverted. As I said, the lower is the volume, the higher the fidelity of the profile is. I would measure the resulting volume in integrated LUFS, which value is minus 40.8 integrated LUFS. And now let's see together the result obtained by each of the profiles I have created, I mean the NAM which we have just heard, the Tonix, the Quad Cortex, The Camper. The 
here I am putting each couple, real amp and profile, in line with the other, one over the other, so that we can visually compare the resulting LUFS. And at the same time, I'm also putting a graphical representation of the difference between each profile and the real amp in terms of EQ. The resulting LUFS are the following. NAM minus 40.8, TONIX minus 39.6, Quad Cortex minus 29.7, Kemper minus 28.3. As I said, the lower is the resulting volume of the real amp played together with the profile phase inverted, the better is the profile. And uh, here we have the NAM that has the higher fidelity followed pretty closely by the tonics, and then we have the quad cortex and then the camper. Cool, isn't it? Let's now check out the EQ graph almost in the middle of the testing reef. If you check out the resulting EQ, you can notice that the smaller EQ curve is for the NAM, as expected. Then I would highlight that both the camper and the quad cortex are missing information especially in the high frequency and the low frequency range, which are less audible and so less important, especially in a mix. And that's why in a mix it is pretty hard to detect any difference, as we'll see in a few minutes. Furthermore, the difference, this difference could derive from the fact that the quality of the converters in both the camper and the quad cortex is lower compared to the one of my audio interface, which has to be expected being these devices only one machines versus a dedicated audio converter interface. I mean, here the differences could derive more from the converters or the preamplifiers you are using than the algorithms or the time you spend training the neural network. I'm not 100% sure, but what I mean is that you can have the best profiling algorithm in the world, but if it is not coupled with great capturing devices with good converters, well, the result may suffer, especially in the high and low frequencies. Let's now make a joke together, and we play a demo song with the, all the four modeler and the real amp in action. I will change the real amp and the profilers during the song without letting you know which is which, and at the end I will leave you some time to guess which is the real amp and which are the profiles before revealing which is which. Let's start.
please, write in the comments section below which is the rig you prefer the most, I will leave you few seconds to decide, and then I will reveal which is which. Finite considerations here. Well, we are living in the era of the AI. It's really crazy that a free software and a free plugin are actually performing better than paid solutions. Obviously, it is not all roses and flowers. I mean, if you want to profile your amp in your computer with the NAM software, you have to spend a lot of time. And actually, I had a lot of fun learning about machine learning, training, epochs, anaconda, CUDA, and so on and so forth. I also had to solve some problems as the training process was not working uh, as expected initially. But at the end, this plugin provides incredible results and uh, the learning curve is the price to pay for a free solution. On the other hand, the other solutions are not free, you have to pay, and you have to pay big money for something like the Quad Cortex or the Camper. Obviously, also having an all-in-one solution for profiling amps, which is easier, with effects, foot switches included, etc. But I have to say that, for instance, for recording purposes, if you want the best solution possible, and you have the time to invest in the learning curve, actually, the NAM plugin is unbeatable at this time, which is crazy considering that it is free. Now, I want to make a step further. For instance, if we have an amp modeler which has inside many profiles of the same amp, for instance, a different setting with the gain at 25%, then at 30%, etc. I mean, each setting with its own individual profile, well, we should have something like the perfect modeler, the perfect copy of an amp. Something similar to what we have with IRs, where you capture the IR of a microphone, moving it in all the possible positions across the cup. Well, we already have a software which is going in that direction, which is called Proteus. But uh, this is a topic for another video. And please let me know if you want a video where I can share my experience in training the NAM Neural Network. If you want my Tonix profiles, you can check out the link in the card above or the description below. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.